Hi, this is Dr. Joe again with Posture Screen Mobile. We have the exciting news again. You watched the previous video, augmented reality is here and that enhances our posture assessments and also the movement screens that are coming out. Right now, we're gonna focus on the posture screens. With a four view assessment, which I'm gonna review now, this is what is the most clinically relevant for clinicians and high-end uh, uh, fitness professionals that wanna see anatomy, see their posture, because it has several advantages that I talk about in another video in this section. Uh, again, the same caveats, they need to be in minimal clothing. Today, for this example, he's wearing a shirt, okay, and looser fitting shorts. That's just for example. I know we're not gonna see some points um, on his back, so don't email me saying, how did I know that? We're just doing this for demonstration purposes because my lovely model here doesn't want to take his shirt off and have it shown to a couple hundred thousand people, right? Come on, that's a joke. That's pretty funny stuff right there. You're not laughing. I gotta laugh, that was pretty funny. Well, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do this. And as I go, I'm gonna go ahead and click the approximate anatomy that is not predicted by our algorithms, okay? Over time, that will be done. So let's go ahead, come on over, and let me show you how well this works. So. We're gonna do the same thing that we did before. We're gonna go ahead and take a picture, just like I showed before. And then we're gonna scale this. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is ask the client, go ahead and turn to quarter turn. Okay, do the same thing. I'm gonna back up just a little bit here and snap the picture. And don't worry about if the, the bars are turning green or red right now. We'll change the heads up display as we go. But for right now, just get them in the brackets. Go ahead and face the wall. Okay, so look at the ankles, make sure everything is where it needs to be, okay. We're gonna scale this, and then he's gonna do another quarter turn, okay. Now, I have the advanced features turned on for this, for the four view. You can turn those on or off. Now, some of you may, may be asking, what are the advanced features, Dr. Joe? Well, good question. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna answer that for you. In the four view, you can turn on thoracic kyphosis, ASIS to PSIS angulation. You can turn on um, the ankle pronation supination, as well as Q angles also calculated and turned on. If you don't have those measurements that are in your four view, we have a video on how to turn those features on. They're off currently by default, okay? But I have turned those on and we're gonna have to manually click some points on that. So let me go ahead and show you how that works. So I have the assessments already done here with the, the capturing the photographs. We're gonna hit begin posture analysis. Everything looks fantastic here. Again, like I showed in the other video, if I wanna change anything, like if it missed his eyes just a little bit, I can move this down and move this down just a little bit. I can go ahead and move the the uh, shoulder down, just to show you that we can go ahead and do this. Now, obviously, if we have the shirt off, that's much better and a little bit more accurate. Same thing here. We're gonna move this down just a little bit right to the EAM. If we wanna adjust anything else, we can. I'm going to now click the additional points. So it wants us to click C7, T1, the thoracic kyphosis. Now, since he's in a baggy shirt, I can't see where the, the end point is around T12 to L1, like it says. Usually that's around the elbow level, if you're a decent distance apart. And I know since, uh, since I've worked on Tim before as a clinician, you know that he's fairly thin, that his back would be right about that area. Now, we try to, our best to predict ASIS to PSIS, but obviously that's around the belt line. If, it, if the computer did not do a good job on that, just simply drag those points down, okay? Now, at this point, what we can do is hit next. We're gonna add the ear markers, okay? Now here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add approximate level of T4. Now, am I guessing? Of course I'm guessing, okay? So on this part, we're gonna go ahead and hit again. Now, if I need to move this up or change any of these points, obviously if they have the shirt off and this is an, a, um, a uh, more detailed evaluation, you could even pre-mark some of these points. I can't see any anatomy because of he has his, has his shirt off, so I'm just guessing here. His PSIS is here, the computer got a little confused, so we're gonna go ahead and just move those points up just a little bit, because his PSIS are probably up in this region, okay? But here, he this is how he was standing, one foot is back, one foot is forward. Double check the Achilles tendon, make sure we get the pronation supination correct of the foot. 
you can just drag those into the correct location. So my point here is, is that if we need to update this, we can. The computer is gonna try and hit the head of the humerus on this area from, from behind. If you wanna keep it there, you can, or you can move it to the tops of the shoulders, as long as it looks consistent with the plane of the shoulders, and there it does. So I'm gonna just go ahead and make a clinical decision to leave it that way. Move on to the next level. Again, here we're gonna move this to the, to the ear. And I'm gonna move this point up just a little bit more to the base, more the base center of, of the neck at the height of the shoulder. Move that up. I'm just a clinical decision. Now we're gonna go ahead and add C7, T1. Hit the apex. Now again, I'm gonna make an uh, assumption that is, is around T12, L1, right about there. And again, on this case, since he's fully dressed, the, the approximation of PSIS to ASIS is a little bit higher, so I'm gonna bring that down. Everything else looks fairly good. So now I'm done with my four evaluation. Now here's the key. This is a lot of data. So when I send this to a patient, the only thing I send to the patient is the four view assessment. That's the only thing that I'm gonna to send to them. Do not, I repeat, do not send the patient this report, which is the clinical relevant uh, one, because this is not made for patients to understand. This is for clinicians and high-end fitness professionals because all it is is data points. So when we do a follow-up, we can go ahead and see the averages because it does things on the four view that, are, that I talked about in other videos on basically averaging the right and left of, the, um, of their sagittal postures. So with that said, you can see how much more efficient this is. For more information, reach out to us at support at Thank you.